American Battery Technology is a company sitting at the intersection of EVs, clean energy, and U.S. manufacturing independence. Ticker ABAT is quietly becoming one of the most talked about small cap battery plays in the country. Before we get caught up in the hype, let's break down what this company actually does, what's driving the buzz, and why analysts are calling it a hold. Do not own this stock, I am not recommending this stock, and make sure you are on the Sacco Financial Channel page watching this video. All other accounts are fake. Headquartered in Reno, Nevada, ABAT was founded in 2011 under the name American Batteries Metals Corporation. Its mission was to build a full closed loop system for sourcing, refining, and recycling critical battery materials like lithium, nickel, cobalt, and manganese, all within U.S. borders. They're doing that through two major arms. One is primary resource extraction. That's mining lithium from Claystone in Topino, Nevada. And then second is battery recycling. McCarran, Nevada facility breaks down used lithium ion batteries and recovers valuable materials for reuse. The recycling technology is what sets them apart. Instead of traditional evaporation ponds, which can take months, ABAT uses a select Active leaching process that extracts lithium efficiently from claystone. It's faster, cleaner, and cheaper if it can scale. Now, ABAT isn't alone in this race. Competitors like Solid Power, SLDP, and Lithium Americas Corp, LAC, are also chasing the EV boom. But ABAT's unique value lies in its integration, mining, and recycling. That closed loop model they have gives them control over both ends of the supply chain. Plus, the companies received US government grants and fast track permits to help accelerate domestic battery materials production. U.S. government wants independence from China's battery dominance and ABAT fits right into that national strategy. If you're still watching, be sure to check out the trading discord after this video. I think you'll like it. It's free to join. The link is in my bio. Just DM me if it doesn't work. According to Seeking Alpha, ABAT's growth story is explosive, but not without warning signs. Company has a hold rating broken down like this. Valuation, they're rated an F. Their price to sales ratio is 126. The sector median is one. That's a massive overvaluation. Growth, they rate an A minus. Year over year revenue growth of 1,150%. That's insane momentum. Profitability, they have a D minus. Gross margins are at negative 246%, meaning they lose money on each dollar sold. On momentum, they have an A+. One year share performance is up 575%. Investors are clearly bullish. So while the growth is phenomenal, profitability and valuations are major red flags. Company is scaling fast, but it's burning cash even faster. Now, analysts love ABAT's 10x increase in recycling revenue and the tailwind from U.S. policy support, but the concerns are real. Dilution risk remains high as the company raises capital to stay solvent. Stock is volatile, often moving on headlines rather than fundamentals. And despite progress, profitability is still out of reach, making future success heavily dependent on government grants and execution. In short, ABAT is a bold bet on America's battery independence. If they can scale recycling and lithium extraction efficiently, this could be a long-term winner. At today's valuation, you're not just buying potential, you're buying a lot of risk too. This isn't financial advice. Always do your own research before investing.